Okay, greetings one and all. Please excuse the squawking noisemakers behind me, but I'm at the public park again. And I don't want to give up filming, even though it's just been one of those days. But anyway, I want to show you guys something cool. Uh, this guy at uh, Rush Camp and Prep on Facebook. I will link the description down below for you to go check out. Uh, made me this really cool bearing block for the bow drill. And, um, you know, it's real comfortable. As you know, I've been struggling with the bow drill because it sucks. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, we, I want, he's, he made this for me. And the price was really not that bad. I don't want to tell you what the price was because, uh, you know, we negotiated over private message. Not to mention, you know, they might be different sizes based on, you know, like the size, different size bones that you could get or what you wanted. There was another one that I saw that had um, a ferro rod coming out of it, which was really cool. But I already have enough ferro rods and whatnot. So, in fact, the new knife has a ferro rod antler on the very end. So, you know, badass. So I've already got plenty of uh, ferro rod attachments, but I'm going to give the bow drill another shot and uh, I'm going to use a different bearing block. Now, it was suggested that I not use a bearing block like that because somehow it's, it's cheating and taking away from what you're trying to do, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. Plus, I said I would do a video on this bearing block, so and I want to try this anyway, so I want to see if this will make a lot of difference or not. So I'm gonna get the camera fixed and uh, I'm gonna try and shoot a little farther away this time so you guys can some requests to see my form better. So I'm gonna do that and then see what we do. See if I can knock out a cold today or see what happens. It's a really cold day too so I don't know. It's cold and it's windy so I don't know what's gonna happen. We'll see what happens. All right, so I'm gonna try this farther away. So let me do a test. Let's see. Hope that's far enough away. Let me just go ahead and bring it back a bit more. That was Quest to see my form and whatnot, and I need to change the battery, so I gotta cut it and bring it back. So I'm using the existing board.
getting heat. All right, so what I did is I, I worked down the point so it would fit the bearing block a bit better. Try that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try a completely different set. I'm going to use this board, this spindle, and this handhold that yeah, came out of the box that Good Easy sent me.
string is too tight. It's so tight, I can barely even move it. Yeah, I'll try to adjust the string real quick. <clears throat> Are you recording? Yep. Yeah, the string was so tight, I could barely even move it, so... irritating that every little thing has to be right on or it's just not going to freaking work. And of course the freaking bow is the biggest pain in the ass.
built up a little dust, but... You know, it's really hard not to get angry or frustrated at this. this bow drill is just a pain in the ass. Oh, it's like everything has got to be so freaking precise or you just can't do it. I mean, what's wrong with a lighter? I mean, seriously. The Bic is your friend. The Bic. Even it's cold out here. Still comes on. Anyway, I'm done. It's just been a annoying day. I got leaf blowers blowing through. People coming in and talking. I'm just gonna pack it up and go home and edit video. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.